Hi everyone, my name is Kayla and I am one of your finalists for the I Heart Flying Foundation Spring Into Action Scholarship. I just wanted to start by saying thank you so much to Rochelle, I Heart Flying Foundation, the selection committee, and of course the sponsors for considering me for this opportunity. I know you had over 150 qualified applicants and I just feel so honored and so grateful that I was given the opportunity to share a little bit more about me as a finalist, so thank you. All right, so I'm currently working as a CFII in Denton, Texas. And last week I just hit a thousand hours, woohoo! And then the next day Rochelle called me and let me know on my birthday what a great birthday present that I was a finalist so a lot of good things are happening right now my plan for the scholarship would actually be to do an MEI and with that I'd be able to get that magical you know 25 hours of multi-engine time uh, but also instruct and go beyond that you know that the airlines are getting more and more competitive and so that bare minimum 25 is not going to stand out but also being an MEI versus just that time build is going to be so much more valuable uh, it's going to demonstrate that, one, I like to continue learning, but two, that I'm able to instruct. And having an instruction level knowledge of a topic is priceless. So I'm hoping that with the MEI, I'm not only going to be able to meet that minimum requirement, but I'm going to be able to exceed it and stand out. So if you've ever played the game where you have to describe yourself with an adjective, so mine is kind Kayla. Um, I always use that one, uh, it's my go-to, uh, but I think it's a great way to describe me. Um, I am a very outgoing person. I actually uh, used to live in Europe. I, If you leave me alone in the FBO, I'm going to have 10 friends by the end of the day. Um, so I really think I'd be a great asset for iHeart Flying Foundation because I know this is more than a scholarship. I know that this is a networking opportunity. I know this is an outreach opportunity. I already am involved in women in aviation, volunteering for the past four years, um, and I would love to be involved with an organization like iHeart Flying. Just these scholarships alone and the outreach you do is amazing, and I would be honored to to not only create connections with you, but build future connections uh, with all the great work that you guys are doing. What qualifications do I have for the scholarship? So being an instructor already, I learn so much every single day. Um, but something that I've learned over the past year is that being a good instructor doesn't mean I'm the smartest one in the room. Yes, I'm smart. Yes, I worked really hard for my ratings and I do know a lot. But what makes me stand out as an instructor is that I really do care about my students. I understand what the responsibility it is to not only be responsible for their careers, but for setting them up for the rest of their lives. And because of that, I genuinely care about the quality of instruction I'm giving and that my students are learning and excelling and passing those check rides. I have a proven track record of my own check rides and quality of check rides I am giving um, or having my students pass uh, with great feedback from multiple DPEs. And so I know that as an MEI, I will put forth that same effort with those students, knowing how important those hours are and one, how expensive those hours are for them to be learning a multi-engine aircraft. When it comes to timeline, I want to get this done as soon as possible. And luckily the school that I instruct at actually does have multi-engine aircraft so I could start the training right away. And then as soon as I'm done training, I'd be able to start instructing as well. So the sooner the better because I have about 500 hours, which will be about 10 to 12 months left of instruction. And if I, the more that I can get as a multi-engine instructor, the better, the more competitive I'm going to be on those applications. When it comes to the rest of the funds, if the scholarship doesn't cover the entire MEI course, I will be able to fund the rest of it or at least my check ride um, because I have been saving for this, uh, but the scholarship will let me get this done right away instead of a couple months down the road. So when it comes All right, so end goals. Um, being from Minneapolis, I do have my eyes set on Delta, but I have learned in aviation to let things happen the way they're supposed to. Um, so that being said, when it comes to regionals, I'm really, really open-minded. And then I think the right major is going to fall in into place as well. Um, I've even been toying with the idea of United or Hawaiian Airlines. Um, so yes, I do want to go airlines, but I also am very open-minded about which airline specifically I want to go to. 